For this video, we're going to walk through the steps of setting up the PidBot tuning dashboard component to use with a Rockwell Plant PAX PPIDE block. So the first thing I'm going to do is drop the tuning dashboard component onto the screen. And I'm going to go over here and filter by basic. The basic properties are those that are critical to calculating appropriate tuning values. So we'll focus on those. Um, I'm going to bring in a PPIDE tag from my PLC using the OPC browser. Just drag that into my tags. And now I'm going to start binding the properties here. Um, the PV for the tuning dashboard component is going to bind to the val PV of the P P I D E block. There are a number of different PV tags used by the P P I D E, but the scaling is generally different. And what we want is the val PV. Here it is. I'm just going to drag it onto the PV property. For CV, we're looking for val CV out. And I can drag that right on to CV. Now the sample time for the tuning dashboard component is how often that PV and CV data is going to be recorded. I know that this loop doesn't respond very quickly, so capturing data once every second should be just fine. So I'll leave that at one. And for PID form, we're going to be looking for the config depend property of the P P I D E. Config depend is dependent form when true and independent form when false. And that matches the tuning dashboard component. So we can just drag that right on. And for PID action, we're looking for the config control action property. And again, this one also matches uh, a value of false is set point minus measurement, and a value of true is measurement minus set point, which is the same as the tuning dashboard component. So we can just drag that one right on as well. And the PPIDE block always uses minutes for the tuning value units. So we don't have to bind that to anything, but we just need to make sure minutes is selected. For the scaling properties, we're looking for config PVEU min and max and config CVEU min and max. We can just drag those on to CV scale high and low for CVEU. And here's PVEU max, which will be PV scale high. And this one will go on PV scale low. So we're all set up here. We could use this now to tune and get accurate tuning values. But I also like to bind the actual tuning values to the tuning dashboard component. And that'll allow you to view tuning values and actually send new tuning values from the component to the PPIDE block. So I'm going to filter by standard and scroll down to the bottom. Here are the tuning value properties P, I, and D. So I'm going to look for the config P gain, I gain, and D gain, which can be bound directly to these properties. And that'll do it. So I have all the, the basic required parameters bound. I have the tuning values bound. So everything is set up. 
Um, but I'm just going to make a few more adjustments here. I actually want to show the current tuning values that we just bound. So I'm going to enable that property. And also I want to be able to push those tuning values back to my block so I can enable the show accept button property as well.